Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Communication Corner. I'm your host, Gail Lewis, and joining me today are people who communicate very well. And they are members of the Rockaway Development and Revitalization Corporation, or RDRC. Joining me today on Communication Corner. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So I'll introduce both of you to my to my left is Kenneth Lee, Foreclosure Prevention Specialist, RDRC. Welcome. And to my right, Malcolm Harewood, Director of Business and Professional Services, also of the Rockaway Development and Revitalization Corporation. Say that three times fast. Yeah, couldn't do it. That's a mouthful. So RDRC will work for us today. Works for me. <laughs> so welcome, gentlemen. Thanks uh, for having us. You're welcome. Thanks so much for joining me on Communication Corner. RDRC, it's a lot of words and a really big acronym, but break it down for us. What does the Rockaway Development and Revitalization Corporation do? Primarily, we respond to the needs of the residents of the Rockaways. And as our name suggests, we are primarily involved with the revitalization of the Rockaways. If you know the Rockaways, you know that it's been hard hit by Hurricane mm -hmm. Sandy, and you know that we are in a recovery mode. Uh, RDRC is very upfront in its delivery of service to the growing need in the Rockaways, primarily in the area of housing, which Kenny and I address. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we do this through uh, a number of programs, most notably our first time home buyer program and our homeowner retention program. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll get to the programs, definitely. Yeah. So you are the Director of Business and Professional Services. Yeah. And Kenny, your role? My, my job is uh, I usually handle the foreclosure prevention, basically deal with mm -hmm. uh, clients who are in need of uh, assistance when it comes to saving their, actually home, their home. Mm -hmm. And how long has RDRC been around? Over 28 years. Mm -hmm. How did you guys start? Uh, unfortunately, neither Kenny and I were there at the start, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but rumor has it. Uh, I, I you don't look that old, <laughs> Malcolm. <laughs> I, would I would imagine um, the organization uh, evolved from the need of uh, residents of the Rockaways for a voice to uh, champion their need in the areas of housing, uh, business services. As you know, it's, it, the Rockaways uh, is in an area where it's very difficult to, to get to. Mm -hmm. uh, the so only just public ge there are geographic boundaries, boundaries and, and barriers to, to getting to, to uh, the Rockaways. Right. Um, and you were saying just getting there. Just getting there mm -hmm. is a difficulty. And our organization basically assists the residents of getting a voice to the local politicians to look for service uh, mm -hmm. to fill those needs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So why does it need uh, revitalization? Uh, primarily because uh, businesses are hard pressed to, to remain vibrant in the Rockaways because of the difficulties of having deliveries uh, coming into the Rockaways. Mm -hmm. and, and in many instances, you know there is a toll bridge right. to get into the Rockaways. Mm -hmm. You can uh, get in, but you, you can't can get, get out? Is that right. what you're saying? Oh, they can get in, <laughs> but it, uh, it presents a difficulty. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, we as an organization are trying to encourage businesses to come into the, the Rockaways. And we, at one point, were uh, a champion of uh, a particular government program that actually lent uh, benefits mm -hmm. to businesses for opening in the Rockaways. Okay, so if you mm -hmm. chose the Rockaways right. uh, as the, the location of your small business, there would be business incentives. Very, very, very tangible mm -hmm. tax benefits. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there enough people in the Rockaways to sustain business? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, um, most of uh, the profits from the Rockaways are, 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 are emigrating out to the Five Towns area. Mm -hmm. And how, how and why does that happen? Uh, primarily because they have the, the products. Uh, we're trying to encourage businesses to bring those industries into the Rockaways. So would that be via a, big, a bigger box store or uh, many small businesses? What would work better? A combination of both of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh great. So let, let's work toward that. Yeah, so, sure. <laughs> so, Kenneth, foreclosure specialist. Yeah. So um, just to put it in a historical context, RDRC started as a revitalization organization, as you were stating, Malcolm, um, to encourage business uh, to open and also to, um, to maintain 
are right. their, businesses their own in businesses Rockaways. in the Rockaways. And now it's kind of RDRC has kind of um, morphed as, as, as our society, I guess, has morphed into also offering foreclosure um, and housing uh, workshops. So that, that's what you do, Ken. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. What, what, what we primarily do is because of the need for the uh, foreclosure prevention, basically with the economy the way it is, people find the jobs uh, are hard to find. They actually, they're saying, listen, I can't find a job. I can't uh, support my family. Therefore, I need to, uh, oh, sorry, I have to say. <laughs> I need so, to. Yeah, so they need assistance. In, in they've fallen behind in their mortgages. Is this what usually happens? They're, they're falling behind because of debt they, need, they are consuming. That's why we, we run credit counseling classes. We also uh, have these workshops to inform homeowners. This is, there's different options out there, and there's different uh, ways we can assist you in helping you with the different programs out there. So do the homeowners come primarily from the Rockaways or from all over? From all over. Really? Uh, the housing crisis uh, has affected the Queens community very, very hard. Um, so even outside of the Rockaways? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamaica is one of the hardest hit areas in the nation. Mm -hmm. And as such, our, our clientele are, it's not exclusive to the Rockaways. Mm -hmm. um, that particular program, the Home Ownership Preservation Program that Kenny is referring to, uh, is primarily client driven. Mm -hmm. You have a situation where, because of, as he's articulated, uh, a hardship in, in the home, mm -hmm. uh, the homeowner has a, a problem meeting his obligation to the, the lender. So walk me through it. Uh, a homeowner is having difficulty paying their mortgage. They come to you. Is it a group setting? Uh, what happens? What we do is we run a monthly workshop just to give them a basic understanding on how the foreclosure process works. And is that on the third Thursday? Third of every Thursday month? of every month, okay. we uh, we run that workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we inform them. Listen, this is how the process works on how to resolve the issue. So that's in a group setting. In a group setting. And then so what then we you do give us all the basic information. information. Then mm -hmm. we do a one-on-one -on -one sit down with them uh, prior to the workshop. Mm -hmm. And in that one-on-one, uh, -on -one you get what more information about? Basically, a detail. They would get more detail into their case-by-case -case, uh, situation, where we uh, basically sit down with them, go over their financials, go over their budgets. We say, listen, this is what we're going to do. This is our strategy to how actually help you guys resolve your situation with it when it comes to delinquency of your mortgage. And then, what happens next after you guys sit down? Well, each client has a, a, an individual hardship that has triggered this res, this requirement. Mm -hmm. as, as Kenny has. As Kenny has yeah. alluded to. Uh -huh. And essentially what you look at is what program offers the best opportunity to resolve this client's crisis. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's in that regard, as, as a HUD certified counseling agency, we are aware of the, the various government programs that are available to the, to the client. And we assist them in putting together a, a package that will be reviewed by the borrower to determine the viability of lending assistance to this client, whether or not they're going to do a forbearance agreement or a modification of the loan mm -hmm. that will, in essence, bring the payments within a range that the homeowner can meet. Okay. Forbearance, um, just uh, break that down for people who are not familiar. Well, I, I, again, this is a definition that, that sometimes seems to uh, evade the, even the banks exactly. <laughs> because <laughs> in many instances uh, the client is given a forbearance agreement and he thinks mm -hmm. he's been given a modification. Right. Uh, and, and also what is the difference? I think right. I always hear people use these terms interchangeably right. almost. Right? Almost. Mm -hmm. But there, there, there is a, de a definite distinction between one and another. Uh, in a modification it's either the term of the loan has changed or the, uh, the, the rate of interest. Mm -hmm. And if you expend on the term, it goes from a 30-year to a 40-year, mm -hmm. or you change the interest rate from a 6.5 to a 4.5, in those instances, you've actually changed the structure of the loan, right. and as such, you've modified it, and now the loan. payment will mm -hmm. actually go down. In a mm -hmm. forbearance agreement, basically what the bank says is, okay, you haven't paid your mortgage in a year. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add the interest to the unpaid principal balance, <laughs> which will, in essence, make that balance higher. higher right? And we are gonna, uh, Capitalize the loan, which means we're going to we're going to do the calculation based on the same term, mm -hmm. which in essence makes the payment higher. higher right. Uh, my argument to the I have a couple of pet peeves with the bank, and as a former banker, mm -hmm. um, 
as I sometimes uh, tell clients, I, I was on the dark side. I've seen the light, <laughs> and I'm helping you now. But uh, if the client can't afford fifteen hundred dollars a month in mortgage, he's certainly not going to be able to afford twenty five hundred. Right, sixteen fifty, right. eighteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Right, it's going so, in the wrong direction. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the the favorite options that the, the banks try to get the tenant to buy in, the client to buy into is mm -hmm. do a short sale. Yes. Well, Explain how does that, that help the client? Mm -hmm. Explain what a short sale is. Well, a short sale basically said, the bank says, you have our permission to go out there and market the house. If the best offer you receive is less than the amount you owed, mm -hmm. you have our permission to sell it for that lesser amount. That's a short sale. Mm -hmm. Now, again, in that situation, whether the bank likes it or not, it's a principal reduction. Right. And my argument is, if you're going to give that to a total stranger, who is not a customer of your bank, mm -hmm. why don't you offer it to your client? Right. And in essence, what you've done is modified the loan. Right. Mm -hmm. and so then after a short sale, um, the, the people who were living in the house, the homeowner, they walk away, and nothing. they walk away with nothing. Nothing. In their pockets. Nothing. nothing. And no place to live. It's a lose-lose situation with the, with the short sale. Mm -hmm. The bank loses the money that they were supposed to get off of the 30-year loan. Mm -hmm. The homeowner loses their home. Their sense, of, yeah, mm -hmm. their sense of uh, their sense of home, their sense of listen. My my kids were growing up here. Mm -hmm. Now my 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 community is uh, one less one less taxpayer. That that's that's one a family. family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it seems like everyone, the community loses, Absolutely. the homeowner loses, everyone Absolutely. loses, but the bank still makes some money. Well, not really, because in essence. Uh, the, only, the, the only way the bank perceives to have saved any money is that they've not had to go through the foreclosure process, which can be very long and also very expensive to the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that regard, they've saved that expense, but they haven't gained anything because the bank makes money on paying clients. Right. Uh, if you're paying your mortgage, the bank, over a 30-year period, the bank makes at least one and a half times the amount that you borrowed. Right. Mm -hmm. So the bank has no real ask to grind to get you to do a short sale. They'd like mm -hmm. you to actually be a continuing paying client. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the reasons why we, we encourage clients, contact your bank. Uh, the banks want to help. When I first started doing this about five years ago, one of the, the, the first arguments I often got was, well, the bank wants my home because it has equity. Mm -hmm. Well, quite frankly, as an ex-banker, I, I chuckle at that because, right. quite frankly, we make the bank is not in the real estate business. We right. make money when clients are pay paying their, their mortgage. mortgage. And, and the bank doesn't want to go out and, and mow the lawn mm. and, and upkeep There's the expenses. property. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And this is one of the, an, another side effect of the foreclosure process is that you hear clients say, well, you know, there are people who are passing by the house and they're taking pictures. And in mm -hmm. essence, Usually, it's the bank trying to verify that someone is still in the house right. and that, you know, the homeowner, because they've received a foreclosure notice or a summons and complaint, mm -hmm. has not removed themselves from the property. Abandon the property. Abandoned. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then um, I come to you, we go to the group session, we sit down, um, uh, we do all of that, uh, we try and work the mortgage out. What's the next step? You guys try and uh, uh, negotiate with negotiate. the banks? Negotiate. With if that doesn't have work, well, as I, I like to tell clients, um, you know, when the bank asks what's the hardship, they're looking mm -hmm. for a reasonable excuse. So a job or a loss. Yes. Uh, right. or, mm -hmm. Exactly, or medical issues or a divorce. Mm -hmm. and, but essentially, the bank speaks one language, dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. and, in, and in essence, what they're lo reviewing the package to determine is, if we modify the loan, will the client be able to continue making payments? Mm -hmm. and, and that's the key aspect. You need to present the financial information in such a manner that it, 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 it presents to the bank's negotiator and their underwriters a clear essence that you will be able to make those payments once the payment has been the, the reduced. Structures, yeah, mm -hmm. and, the, the, and the loan modified. And if you can't, um, what happens that's, next? That's the situation. We, we have alternative uh, programs for people who can't stay in the home. They can't afford it. And listen, everyone can't stay in their home. Everyone can't keep their home. Right. This program, these different programs are not made for everyone. Everyone's situation is different. So what we do is we find them alternative situations where you can move out of your home and they'll even give you some transitional funding. Some of these uh, lenders will give you transitional funding to go out there and say, listen, you can become a renter now.
Okay. Because so help in renting an apartment. apartment absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one one of our partner organizations, the Center for New York City Neighborhoods, CNYCN, mm -hmm. um, has a number of programs that assist in that regard. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a sister organization, or as an organization, a, a HUD certified counseling agency, we partner with a number of organizations, including legal services, mm -hmm. that assist us in presenting cases to the court where the client is actually mm -hmm. in an active foreclosure. And if I come to you and I've got these difficulties, am I paying you? No. Okay, no. there you go. It's uh, really important. Yeah, very important. <laughs> Uh, as a matter of fact, a part of our presentation deals with foreclosure scams, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, at the front end where the individual was conned into taking a loan that was detrimental to them, to their mm -hmm. financial situation, mm -hmm. or at the back end now where we're seeing mm -hmm. people are saying, come to us, we can guarantee you right. a, a modification. You see those on the bus, exactly. you see those ads right. all over the place, and those are scams generally. Generally. Okay, yeah. so come to guys like you who right. are not for profit. And free of charge. Absolutely. Now, RDRC, not to get off of uh, foreclosures, but I know that RDRC does a lot of other things as well, other than just dealing with foreclosures, which is a big, a big thing, uh, yes. you know, a, a big thing that you do. But you also do other things as well, like? Well, uh, some of our sister departments, uh, we have an, uh, a youth services de department. Mm -hmm. And we're very proud of that because we run one of the largest summer youth programs. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, I think we had a thousand kids go through our Wow, doors. a thousand kids in yes. the Rockaways. And, and uh, the population age is usually? Mm -hmm. 14 to 24. Four. Okay, yeah. and what are they service. doing all summer? Well, we, we actually, we partner up with dis different agencies. We partner up with the hospitals. We have lawyer's offices, doctor's office, to give them an opportunity to get the work experience. So this is where we say, listen, this is the youth of our community. We want them to be exposed to how the, the workforce works. So what we do is we send them to different work sites to say, listen, this person needs to, the work experience. They're going to intern f for your uh, organization for free. Mm -hmm. We're going to pay them. You just give them the work experience. That's amazing. Yes. So they walk out of a summer learning something. And gaining money. And, and you know, they've made cash, yes, too. Yes, absolutely. That is great. Um, yeah. So they've learned a skill or a trade, trade. Or even just they've learned how to get up every morning and, and go, go to, to a work. place and yeah. go do a job, which, you know, is, is huge in <laughs> itself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Well, that same department also has an employment services area, which mm -hmm. um, a, a welcome addition to that has been our Time Warner uh, computer lab. Tell us about the Time Warner Computer Lab on the RDRC campus. Okay, yeah. Okay, that one, we partnered with uh, Time Warner to basically bring job training uh, to the Rockways where we can say, listen, anyone who needs the basic computer skills, which which everyone needs mm -hmm. in, this, in this time, in this age, where we partnered, we said, listen, we're going to have the youth come in, do their training. Mm -hmm. The seniors come in, do their training. We're going to have uh, the job training for anyone who wants to get back into the workforce, anyone who hasn't been in the workforce. We said, listen, this is what we need in the community. This is what the community needs. Well, let's bring it to the Rockways. So that's what we actually, uh, we partnered with them to bring that uh, lab to the Rockways. And so that's, in instance, that's what we did. So the lab has about how many computers, terminals? They have about 20, actually, 20 actual terminals. They had actually four I iPads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And also wireless service so Absolutely. that you can bring your own, own. And, and work on your own resume or take job training there as well. Yes, and mm -hmm. the job training does provide the capability of building a resume. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Preparing for the interview. Job interview. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we recently uh, just got a grant from the New York Community Trust for Financial en Empowerment Program so that will you, actually teach them financial that? literacy. Great. And what yeah. would that include? Uh, I know you haven't started it yet, but it's upcoming. Yeah. Workshops on financial literacy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially money management mm -hmm. and uh, how to save how to create a budget. Mm -hmm. um, we look at uh, the needs within the area in terms of uh, how do I take the funds that I earn mm -hmm. and how much of it am I supposed to, to save? Right. Uh, and what do I need? What are the essentials uh, in terms of creating that budget? So the basics of budgeting, how to save money, right. how to spend wisely. Exactly. Things we may not have learned at home. Right. <laughs> or in <laughs> or school. Or we might need a refresher or course. School. Yeah. Right. Or we haven't learned them in school. Right. So we might need a refresher course as well. Um, you also, or, uh, on that same vein, offer credit counseling. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, an essential part of the foreclosure prevention uh, program uh, requires credit counseling because, in essence, uh, the client did not just get there by losing a job. Right. Uh, and there are still bills to pay. And often debt has a, is a major component of the crisis. Mm -hmm. yes. And we, again, uh, assist the client by getting a copy of their credit report, going mm -hmm. over the credit report with them to determine, number one, the accuracy of the report. Okay, so if there's, there are errors, you help them to we correct them? them? Correct, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually uh, create the letters for them. Wow. Yeah. I th that's huge. I mean, that writing is the letter is, is it's just a big obstacle for a lot of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we sit down with them to look again. The budgeting portion is an essential part of that. Mm -hmm. Now that we've identified these are valid um, items on the credit report, mm -hmm. how do we negotiate with either the credit card uh, offer mm -hmm. uh, to determine a, a better rate, mm -hmm. um, a more uh, convenient uh, pattern of, of, of repaying the debt? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are all options that are available to our clients. Mm -hmm. So you help them just clear up and clean out uh, yes. their credit reports. Right. Uh -huh. And what about the first time home bo homeowner program? Well, this is a really structured program. It's a 10-hour program that begins with a two-hour orientation that asks the question, are you ready to buy a home? Okay. Um, one of our um, partnerships, again, is uh, Naval, Naval Works America mm -hmm. and they have this program that we are a participant of and it, it basically structures it. It does money management as well as uh, shopping for a home, shopping for a loan mm -hmm. and these are all modular and the, the right now that program is run on consecutive Saturdays mm -hmm. they come in for a four-hour uh, period on, on, on consecutive Saturdays to complete that mm -hmm. program. It's what we're finding... Stop, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's also a certification course where right. you actually get certified and it's a requirement from HUD to actually purchase a home that you have to go get the certification okay. from a HUD approved counseling agency to uh, actually uh, purchase a home. So if I want a HUD home I've got to go through the program right. first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well we're finding that many of the lenders are, are having this as a requirement because one of the... Whether you're purchasing a HUD home or not. Or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or really? not. Okay. Uh, because the research has found that uh, those clients who receive first time home buyer training are less likely to have a crisis with foreclosure prevention right. uh, because they, in essence one of the things is that they have learned to look at the, the dynamics of the lending process mm -hmm. and are less likely to be saddled with a loan that is inappropriate to their circumstance. Right, so they are forewarned going in, I Absolutely. guess. And also um, it, it opens the potential home buyer's eyes to uh, the forks in the road, mm -hmm. the bumps in the road, right. et cetera, et cetera. And a major part of that is, is affordability. Uh, don't let someone sell you a home for 300000 when your pocket can only afford 250000 Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, as, as a real estate agent, mm -hmm. and this is one of the interactions we, we ask them to take control of, mm -hmm. um, you know what your affordability is. And a part of the first-time home buyer teaches you to calculate that affordability. Mm -hmm. Don't let them show you a home that you know you can't afford. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay within that range. In, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So now that we've talked about all these great things that RDRC, Rockaway Development and Revitalization Corporation, offers, I'm sure everyone at home is wondering where you guys are located. Oh, that's easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, we're located at uh, 1920 Mott Avenue. That's mm -hmm. in Far Rockaway. Uh, the zip code is 11691. Mm -hmm. We're located on the second floor. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty soon, we are going to be into our new building, which uh, we discussed earlier. With uh, the Renaissance Center. Center. And where's the Renaissance Center located? That building is located in uh, 19, let me see, 1934. 1911. 1911, sorry. Mm -hmm. 1911. Mott, Mott Avenue. Mott Avenue. We're still in the same Rockaway. neighborhood. Yeah, right down the street. Right, first stop on the A train. All right. right, we like that. So first stop of the A train, uh, right there at the Renaissance Center. When are you guys moving in there? Hopefully by summer. Okay. Well, we've yes. been a summer. Mm -hmm. uh, part of our contact information, our phone number is 718 327 5300. And we're so also on the web. 327 5200? 327 5300. 5300, right. right. And where can we find you online? Uh, www.rdrc.org. RDRC.org, right. right. And you guys are on Facebook? Yes. Yeah. 
Do you tweet? Yes, tweet sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we can follow you on Twitter. We can right. I'll look you guys up on Facebook. And just stay abreast of all of the different uh, programs that you guys offer. Right. We know that every third Thursday of the month is the home ownership retention program. Okay, so if you think you're gonna, if you're in foreclosure, if is if you are having difficulty. well, if you're having difficulty mm -hmm. paying your mortgage, um, mm -hmm. the sooner you contact the the lender, the better it is. The more options are available to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So should I contact the lender first or come see you guys first? Uh, it it that really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is that you need the help. Mm -hmm. Reach out. Okay, third right. Thursday of the month, right. yes. come see you guys. Right. Look you guys up on the web as well, rdrc.org. Final thoughts, gentlemen? We wish more of the Rockaway residents would participate in some of the programs that we have to mm -hmm. offer. Um, generally, we do a lot of outreach in the Rockaways. We hand out our flyers, we leave them at the offices of the, the electives. Flyers, right. And uh -huh. uh, at the library. Mm -hmm. and. We'd welcome them, mm -hmm. and they ought to know we're there. Mm -hmm. uh, 1,000 of their kids participate in our programs. <laughs> We'd like the adults to participate as well. Mm -hmm. And those programs, again, in addition to the youth program, the credit counseling program, financial uh, workshops, first-time home homeowner, uh, did I miss anything? No, no. I think you covered it. Okay. Um, and uh, final thoughts, Kenny? My final thoughts is I want everyone to know that these services are available not only in Rockway, but in the entire borough of Queens. Mm -hmm. you, all you have to do is just reach out for information and make sure you get trusted information with people who you trust and who are certified and who are nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Nonprofit is the way to go these right. days. Free is best. So if someone asks you for money up front, yeah. Yeah, hold on to you your guys possible. first. Yes. Okay, thanks so much, gentlemen. Kenneth Lee, uh, foreclosure prevention specialist. Malcolm Harewood, director of business and professional services. Rockaway Development and Revitalization Corporation, RDRC. Thanks so much for joining us Thank on you. Communication Thank Corner, guys. This has been Communication Corner. I'm your host, Gail Lewis. Email me, newday2010 at yahoo.com. Read my blog, I don't have issues.com. And watch us here on Communication Corner again real soon. For everyone here on set, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I was kind thanks of nervous all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay.